Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, war shapes the landscape of the church in Europe. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On November 11 in 1918, the First World War ended on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. It was a notable conflict for Adventists because Adventists in most European countries supported conscientious objection, the church's traditional position. But church leaders in Germany supported military service and a minority of German Adventists therefore broke away from the main church. The resulting rift continued to affect the denomination after the war and it severely affected Adventist growth across Central Europe. Also on November 11, but 33 years later in 1951, 4,237 lay evangelistic meetings took place simultaneously across the United States. They had been launched by the 120 Club of Seventh-day Adventist laymen, businessmen who wanted to support the church's outreach. Sixty years and a day earlier, on November 12 in 1891, Ellen G. White departed the United States bound for Australia. She lived there for nearly nine years until August 1900. On November 16 in 1896, Oakwood Industrial School opened in Huntsville, Alabama with 16 students. A dedicated school for black Americans, it was opened thanks to the efforts of Ellen G. White and the GC president, Ola Olson. The school later became a college and today is Oakwood University. And on November 17, in 1842, Joshua V. Himes published the first issue of The Midnight Cry, an influential Millerite periodical. That was this week in Adventist history.